had tightly together. Or sitting on metal bunk, one above the other. Winston and his mother and father found themselves a place on the floor, and near them an old man and an old woman were sitting side by side on a bunk. The old man had on a decent dark suit, and the black clothes kept pushed back from their white hair. His face was scarlet, and his eyes were blue and full of tears. He licked a gin. It seemed to breathe out of his skin in place of a sweat, and one could have fancied that the tears welling from his eyes were poor gin. But though slightly drunk, he was also suffering under some grief that was genuine and unbearable. In his chill childish way, Winston grasped the same terrible thing, something that was beyond forgiveness and could never be remembered. Remedied, never be remedied, had just happened. It all seemed to him that he knew what it was, someone whom the old man loved. A little granddaughter, perhaps, had been killed. Every few minutes, the old man kept repeating. We didn't out trust them. I said so. Ma, didn't I? That's what come of trusting him. I'm so old. We didn't know to trust the burger. But which burgers they didn't ought to have trust Mr. could not now remember. Since about that time, war had been literally continuous, though, strictly speaking, had not always been the same war. For several months during his childhood, there had been confused street fighting in London itself, some of which he remembered vividly, but to trace out the story of the whole period, to say who was fighting, whom at any given moment, would have been utterly impossible since no written record and no spoken word ever made mention of any other alignment than the existing one. At this moment, for example, in 1984, if it was 1984, Osenia was at war with Eurasia and in alliance with Estasia. In no public or private utterance was it whatsoever admit the three powers had at any time been grouped along different lines. Actually, as Winston well knew, it was only four years since Oceania had been a war in East Asia and in alliance with Eurasia. But that was merely a piece of positive knowledge which he happened to possess because his memory was not satisfactory under control. Officially, the change of pair partners had never happened. Oceania had had war with Eurasia, therefore Oceania had always been at war with Eurasia. The enemy of the moment always represented absolute evil. It was followed that any past or future agreement within was impossible. The frightening thing he reflected for the ten thousandth time as he posted his soldiers painfully backward in hand and on hips, they were great their bodies from the west. An exercise that was supposed to be good for the back muscles. The frightening thing was that it might well be true. If the Fadi could thrust its hand into the past, say, of this or that event, it never happened. That surely was more terrifying than mere torture and death. The party said that Oceania had never been in alliance with Eurasia. He, Winston Smith, knew that Oceania had been in alliance with Russia in short of time as four years ago, but 
Where did that knowledge exist? Only in his own consciousness, which, in any case, must soon be annihilated. And if all others accept the lie which the party imposed, if all the court told the same tale, then the lie passed into history and became truth. Who controlled the past when the party slowed? Controlled the future? Who controlled the present? Controlled the past. And yet the past, though of its nature alterable, never had been altered. But it was true now, was true from everlasting to everlasting. It was quite simple. All that was needed was an unending series of victories over your own memory. Reality control, they called it, in you speak, double sync. Stand easy, backed in instructed is a little more genuinely. Winston sank his arm to his side and slowly repealed his wrong with air. His mind slid away into the labyrinth world of a double think. To know then not to know, to be conscious of a complete truthfulness, while the telling carefully, constantly lies. To hold simultaneously two opinions which cancelled out, knowing them to be contradictory and believing in both of them. To use logic against logic, to repudiate morality while laying claim to it, to believe that democracy was impossible and the party was the guardian of democracy, to forget whatever it was necessary to forget, then to draw it back into memory again in the moment when it was needed, and then promptly to forget it again, and above all, to apply the same process to the process itself. That was the ultimate subtly. Consciously to induce unconsciousness and then once again to become unconscious of the act of hypnosis you had just performed. Even to understand the word double think involved the use of double think. <clears throat> the instructors had called them to attention again. And now, let's see which of us can touch you at all. She said, insidiously, right over from the hip. Please, come One, two. One, two. Winston lost his side, which sent shooting pain all the way from his heel to his buttocks and often ended by bringing to another coping pit to help pleasant quality <coughs> of out of his meditation. The past, he reflected, had not merely been altered. It had been actually destroyed, for how could you establish even the most obvious fact when there exists no record outside your own memory? He tried to remember in what year he had first heard the invention <clears throat> Big Brother <clears throat> He thought it must have been in some time in the 60s But it was impossible to be certain In the party history, of course, Big Brother figure as the leader and the guardian of the revolution since its very early step This exploit had been gradually pushed backward in time until already they extended into the fabulous world for the forties and the thirties. When the capitalists in their strange cylindrical head still rode through a street of London in great gleaming moral cars of horse carriages with a glass slide, glass side, there was no knowing how much of this legend was true and how much invented. Winston could not even remember of what date of party itself had become into existence. He did not believe he had never heard the word 
in South before 1960. But it was possible that in its world speak from English socialism. That is to say, it had been current earlier. Everything melted into mist. Some things. Indeed, you could put your finger where a deposit lie. It was not true, for example, as was exclaimed the party story books. And the party had invented the airplane. He remembered the airplane since his earliest childhood, but you could prove nothing. There was never any evidence. Just one in his whole life he had held in his hand unmistakable documentary proofs of the falsification of a historical fact, and on that occasion. Smith screamed Scottish voice from the telescreen. 6097. Smith. W. Yes, you. Band lawyer, please, you can do better than that. You cannot try. Lawyer, please. That's better. Come, ladies. Now stand at ease. The whole square. And watch me. A sudden hot sweat had broken out all over Winston's body. His face remained completely inscrutable. Never show dismay. Never show resentment. A single flicker of the eyes could you could give you away. He stood watching while Winston raised her arms over her head. And one could not say gracefully, but remarkable neatness and if Patience, bend over and tuck her first joint of her finger under her toes. There, come next. That's how I want to see you doing it. Watch me again. I'm certain I. I have four children. Now look, she bend her over again. You see my knees, Aunt Ben. You can all do it if you want. She added that she straightened herself up. Anyone under 45 is perfectly capable of touching his toes. You don't all have the privilege of fighting in the front line, but at least we can all keep it. Remember, our boys on the Malaba front and the sailors in the floating fortresses. Just think what they have to put up in. Now, try again. That's better, comrade. That's much better. She added encouragingly as Washington and Winston with a violent lunge succeed in touching his toes with knees unbent for the first time in several years. <laughs>